Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is one of those kilowatt meters and I purchased this uh, to monitor the power usage for one of those oil-filled electric heaters. Um, I have an oil-filled heater here that I've kept on during the winter. Uh, in this little greenhouse I have, I have some citrus trees I wanted to keep warm from freezing, but I was interested in how much it was costing me. Uh, this particular one keeps track of the kilowatt hours and uh, what you do is you take your rate and you multiply it and you figure out the dollar cost um, manually. It doesn't do it on its own. I think the newer one might have a feature where you just you, uh, it stores your rate and then just gives you the dollar amount maybe. Um, it looks like they have changed this model. But the reason I bought this model is uh, I discovered that there's a kit uh, that you can uh, modify, you use this uh, kilowatt meter and a kit that has a couple of uh, XB uh, wireless modules and you can build your own power, remote power monitoring system. So uh, it involves opening up this kilowatt meter and adding one of the XB modules in there as a transmitter and then you have another one as a receiver hooked up to your PC. And there's also um, a great website that uh, shows you in great detail how, how to go about modifying this kilowatt meter. And the kit itself I purchased from Adafruit. So uh, I thought that'd be an interesting project, so let's get started on that. And again, I have to modify this, open it up and add an XP module, and then a second XP module uh, has to be set up, uh, configured, uh, hooked up to a PC to receive the signal, and then you could do uh, data logging and remotely look at the power usage of uh, anything that you want to plug into your kilowatt meter. So I'm going to get started on that. Nice interesting project I thought. So these are the components uh, to build a wireless monitoring system. Uh, these are from Adafruit and this here is not included. Uh, purchased this separately uh, off of Amazon. So we have two XB uh, one milliwatt modules and they have a little antenna on them here. Let's see. I don't know what the range is going to be for a one milliwatt but these are, uh, you can figure these as either a transmitter or a receiver and one of these again goes will be going inside the kilowatt meter and the other one is hooked up both of these need to be hooked up to uh, an adapter board so this is an adapter board from Adafruit and it comes in a kit let's see what we have in here we have a PC board and uh, a chip here, a couple of capacitors, LEDs and uh, this allows you to hook up, uh, at least on the receiver side, uh, this allows you to hook it up to a TTL to uh, RS-232 cable. So the receiver would plug into this cable and then you plug this into your USB port on your computer. So I have to assemble these adapters. Make sure I don't lose anything. So two adapter boards, two XB modules, and then there's uh, these components, some capacitors, and some cables, heat shrink, resistors. Uh, these are the parts that go inside of the kilowatt meter along with the XB uh, wireless module. And I bought these separately. These are right angle uh, connectors, pin connect pin headers. And uh, the ones that come in the kit are just straight pins. So I thought it would be a lot easier to uh, have it plug into the right angle. You'll see when I assemble this. 
uh, instead of the straight pin here, which would go straight down through or into the PC board, you have to plug this cable in. Uh, this cable then could plug in at a right angle when you install those instead. So yeah, this is the project that I'll be getting started on. And along with, uh, I guess there's Python, uh, some of the software uh, that gets used is Python. So I have to load uh, some, download some software onto my laptop. But um, I think I'll configure, need to assemble uh, one of these adapter boards and then configure the receiver first and get that working and then get started on the kilowatt meter. So stay tuned for this project. I think it's going to be interesting to be able to monitor power usage remotely. And once I have one of these built, I can then build some more and have multiple uh, monitoring, uh, whatever I want to monitor. So I think this will be an interesting project. Uh, please subscribe and or comment if you enjoy these videos. And thanks for watching.